Now, while you douche nozzles were worried about DLC2 information, I took it upon myself to acquire some information regarding Der Eisendracke. It's a part of the storyline, and it may tingle your genitals if you know what I mean, so hopefully you guys enjoy. And you know, if you do enjoy it, like the video, you know there's a like button to display your affection on my video, so make sure you guys click that. I mean, you were born with two arms, but only needed a finger to give me an erection. But anyways, also subscribe if you guys are new here, and enjoy zombies content like this, but anyways, let's get into it. So, all the way back to when the giant was relevant, we heard audio quotes that kind of described something that went down on once we left the giant facility. And Maxis says that we want to ruin any remnants of group 935, and with that, once we leave the giant facility, Maxis destroys it. We hear from an audio quote. When you release the beacon, I will secure your extraction and destroy the site. And so Maxis destroyed the giant facility once we left. And so we see with the Der Eisendracke, Richtofen is displaying what Maxis set out, destroying the remnants of Group 935 by destroying the moon. But not only that, we hear audio quotes that could further hint the destruction of the Der Eisendracke castle with audio quotes we hear. There's enough explosives. Perhaps I could destroy this castle forever. I will bask in the heat of the explosion. So like I said, Richtofen is following Maxis's plans. He's doing something that Maxis, we don't know yet, but he's following Maxis's plans. Maxis this is MIA in Der Eisendracke. We have no idea where he is, but he is following Maxis's commands of destroying anything that has to do with Group 935. We saw that from the giant facility, so we could definitely assume that that is going to transfer over to the Der Eisendracke facility as well. Which is interesting though, with the quotes we hear, Richtofen says that not everything will be destroyed with the explosives that he has, has acquired, and so he will be returning to this castle to retrieve the things that aren't damaged with the explosives. I know a few things that can survive an explosion. When time comes, they will be violently ripped from this realm. And so I'm kind of thinking what that could be is the pyramid most likely. That's that's probably what it is actually. And as well as probably the Vril device that we use for the Easter egg as well. He's probably going to obtain these artifacts once he returns to this destroyed Der Eisendracke facility. But like with the giant, we are probably not going to see the destruction ourselves with our own eyes. It's just part of the storyline that's going to happen. It's kind of the backstory. It's not extremely relevant to the storyline. It's just a little side thing that we could mention with the storyline. But then that also leaves the question that since Maxis and Richtofen are destroying all the remnants of Group 935, where else are we going to go to destroy the R Group 935? Or maybe the grand scheme of things once it turns out is all Group 935, uh, shit, all Group 935 members and facilities will be destroyed with the ending of this storyline. And also the facilities that we go to in the future future will probably be destroyed as well. And if you guys want more information on the giant being destroyed, I have a video, so make sure you guys check that out. And this video was inspired by Black Ops Amazing. I saw a video from him and I was like, damn dude, it's right, because I made a video talking about the giant and it's also transferred to Der Eisendracke, so make sure you guys check him out, I'll put him in the description. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, leave a like if you guys did, and subscribe if you guys are new. What do you think Richtofen and Maxis plan to do with the future? Why are they trying to destroy all Group 935 members? It could be obvious, but then there could be a plot twist with that. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.